Hey guys, um, long time no see, <laughs> but you probably won't, or oh, maybe will notice this. Today is like April 3rd, I believe, but we'll see when this actually gets posted. But anyways, um, today I am going to review, do a review for you guys, and these products were sent to me by NaturallyCurly.com as well as ElastiQP. So in case you've been under a rock somewhere, you might not know that Elastic QP came out with their um, mango, their olive oil and mango butter line. And I'm looking at the little pamphlet here that they sent. So this here is the line. And these are all their products. So they sent me the entire line to review. And so I'll just show you everything that they sent and the consistency of everything because from the rest of the video I'm going to shampoo my hair and everything and I'll tell you what this line lacks and what it does um, provide. So first things first, of course they um, have this here is the olive oil and mango butter anti-breakage um, moisturizing shampoo, moisture butter shampoo. And this here is a really creamy shampoo. As you see, it's really pearly white, kind of thick. And I'll show you the consistency of it. So it looks like this. And it smells relatively good. It kind of smells like, um, if you ever smelled their original formula, um, olive oil mango butter, it smells kind of like that, but with a little sudsy dish detergent smell in the background of it. And then the next product that they send, this product line does not have a rinse out conditioner nor a deep conditioner, which I, for one, am always appalled to see that companies are targeting, mar targeting their market towards natural hair, but they don't give you a deep conditioner. But this one doesn't even have a rinse out conditioner, which shocks me even more. And so, but they have two leave-in conditioners don't know why but they do and so this one here is the leave-in h2 conditioner and it's a spray a very liquidy conditioner and I can't really show it to you I guess I can spray it out so you can see so it sprays out very fine mist hopefully you can even see that and so with one spray that's the consistency of it it's a really very very light spray and so that's one of the leave-ins, which is this liquidy one. And then they also have another um, anti-breakage leave-in conditioner. And this one is really thick. And so it looks like this. And I'll show you the consistency of it. So as you see, it's very thick. But yet, it rubs in very nicely. And so that's that one. So that's two leave-ins. And then for their stylers, they have the curl defining pudding, which this is what I'm going to use today for a wash and go. So I'm excited for this one. And I've been wanting to get this for a while, so I was excited to get this product. And this one is kind of similar to that leave-in, but it's a little bit thinner. And this is what it looks like. And so consistency of this one as I said it's similar to the other one but it's a little bit thinner so it looks like this and all the products pretty much smell the same so there's no difference really between them just a little bit and then they also give you um, this, which I don't plan on using anytime soon, this is their Mango Butter Curl Wax. And this is supposed to be used like if you want to um, flat iron or blow dry your hair as like a heat protectant. As you see, kind of looks like a grease, a really thick grease at that. So, everybody knows what a grease look like. And this one smells a little bit different from the products. It doesn't really have a smell, more like a grease. And then for the line, they also include two moisturizers. And so this one I've already used before that I received in the curl box like in May. And so 
everybody probably already knows what this one looks like very thick very creamy and it's very moisturizing I've used it before so I do love this I have two of the original packaging over there on my shelf and then they also sent a growth moisturizer and that's this one and so this one is also very thick as you see standing up outside of the tube and but it rubs in very very well very smoothly so I have already pre pooed my hair and um, detangled it and so now I am just going to use the olive oil and mango butter um, moisture butter shampoo and I will show you how it works And I know your taste is a little bit mm, high maintenance Everybody else basic, you live life on an everyday basis So my hair is freshly washed and I have to and I ended up using like I kept pouring it in my hand to put it in my hair as you see in the clip but um yeah this is best used if you're an in shower person because um, like I felt like it wasn't getting all over my hair, but then when I went to rinse it out, as I was beginning to rinse it out, it started to set up even more because it, I guess it needs that water to activate it because it's so thick. So this is, if you're a person that stands outside a shower, I wouldn't recommend this, but my hair does not feel dry, brittle or anything like that. It just feels thoroughly clean. And I had like a, um... A slight film on my hair because I was using this oil to pre-poo along with something else and um that oil did help me <laughs> detangle my hair that had been in um, some mini twists for over a month and so I didn't have much of a problem but this is my naked hair after using that shampoo it's not dry still feel moisturized yet clean my scalp is incredibly clean as you see and so because this line like I said does not come with a deep conditioner I'm going to deep condition my hair because as I said it just came out of mini twist so what I'm gonna deep condition it with is this so this part will be in a separate review from this so I'm back my hair is um, deep conditioned wash naked so what I'm going to do is, since this product line comes with two leave-ins, and it's this one, which is more like a liquidy base spray leave-in, and then this one, which is a heavy cream leave-in, I am going to use this one on this side of my hair, and then I'm going to use the thicker one on the right side of my hair. And I'm just going to compare like when either one of them gets dry. And so I'm going to use the spray on the left side and I'm going to use the thicker cream one on the right side. And then on top of the leave-ins, I'm going to put this growth oil, which I have already used for pre-true, pre-true. <laughs> I've already used this oil for pre-poo and I liked it for that purpose. So now I'm going to try to use it as a sealant and see how I like it. And then on top of that... I will be using the curl pudding to style and do a wash and go on my hair. So that will be the steps for today. Poetic justice, poetic justice. If I told you the flowers bloomed in a dark room, would you trust it? I mean, I write the poems in these songs dedicated to you.
up your girl when curled up in the itty bitty range. I heard that she wanna go and party. She wanna go and party. Don't approach her with that Atari. That ain't good game, homie. Sorry. They say conversation rule a nation. I can tell, but I can't write my wrongs unless I write them down for real. quite interesting hopefully you can see that but if not I have a picture where there you go this is like the product reacting with itself and I can even see it on my hair I don't know if you'll be able to on here though but I have like clumps all in my hair which is interesting because this is two products from the same line and I got it on both sides but it's more so on the side where I used the thicker leave-in and then put the curl and put it on top but when I was just putting the leave-in in it was fine but as soon as I put the curly putting on top it's like all this additional water started leaking out my hair and all these clumps started forming so I mean <laughs> nothing I can do now because I need to get ready and go to work but um I'm going to let this dry I'm actually going to a comedy show tonight so I won't be able to check back in when I dry but I will check back in once I'm back home from that and I will show you how this holds up over a couple of days I am going to use some kind of edge slicker to slick this down because this isn't doing a very good job of curling especially the hairs that I cut so once it dries I will come back tonight and show you but I am not hopeful of this at all but I'll turn around so you can see yeah so that's that bye guys
up your girl when curled up in the itty bitty range. I heard that she wanna go and party. She wanna go. So overall, I didn't really enjoy this um, line. It reacted with itself. It's kind of hard to find, but it did smell really good. And I got a lot of compliments on the smell of my hair. But as you see, I had those white balls all throughout my hair. But it didn't dry like that. So I guess I don't know what really to say about that. But my hair did not have much definition nor hold especially on day two but I did enjoy the shrinkage that it gave me so overall I probably would not buy this at all but it was good to try out and some of the leave-ins and butters are actually quite moisturizing but other than that I do not really enjoy this line